Hi everybody, Martin at Flickin' Fellas again today, and I'm tying Cathy Beck's Super Burger. Good fly for bass and carp. Try to eat it as well, you know, it's, it's a kind of much like the original Woolly Burger, it's a very versatile fly. As always, I'll put a materials list in the description, along with a link to the Patreon page for anybody that wants to support the channel, get access to the members only content, and be entered into the giveaways. So I've got my hook and my vice. This is a Varivas 2500V um, streamer hook. Right, it's a 1x long, 3x heavy. Right, that's what you're looking for. And this is a size 6. And I've run on some 140 denier um, UTC. Just a wee short base there. I'm going to take a medium dumbbell eye. And this is a chartreuse one, just for this colour scheme. But up to yourself. I'm going to tie it in. Quite near the front. Right, so I've only just... It's the, the leading edge of the dumbbell is just behind the eye of the hook. And I've taken ten wraps in each direction. And then over and under thread split a wee bit there, so I'll just fix that. Come back. And then lock and wraps around. And I'll take another Set of X wraps. Just get a final check. It looks okay. I'll tighten them in. Now they're pretty well locked in place with those thread wraps, but I'm going to come in with some super glue. I'm going to come in from underneath. I'll, I'll put the brush across the shank like that and bring the glue up underneath. Right, putting the glue on top isn't really helping anything, but you want it on this underside. You can invert the hook like that if you want, but doing that's fine, right? And I'm going to coat the entire shank. Right, this, um, I mean, this is just all about building durability into the fly, really. Right, so I'll just knock that excess away. My thread base is glued to the hook. Right, I mean both those layers have got glue in them. The eyes are glued and I'm going to come up. And just take another set of locking wraps around those lead eyes. And that really anchors them in, right, they're super secure. Now, um, if you've got to tie super buggers, it doesn't really matter what hack we use in the body and all that and the marabou, but I really recommend buying one of these. This is a soft hackle and chickaboo patch, right? So in the back we've got the grizzly marabou, the chickaboo, and then you've got these giant soft hackles in the front. They're not that expensive. I mean, obviously they're more expensive than buying a, like, two packs of strong, strong mara, chickaboo and a strong marabou and strong hackle. But the num amount of hackles you get, these are much better value. Um, there's far less culling of material, much less waste. And you just get so much more out of them. So, Grizzly Olive is the colour I'm using for the, this one. You can obviously tie them in other colours. On my desk already I've got this sort of one. It's just um, tied with like a natural grizzly, a wee red accent, tans, browns, blacks, just the sort of woolly bugger colours. So I'm going to grab a couple, a couple of these uh, ch chickaboo feather, uh, feathers. And I'm going to lay them on the tips that are lined up. 
I did a, I might add another a wee bit thin these two for this size of fly. It's a, oh, a nice one. Just get them all lined up. I'll just dampen them slightly, just let my fingers and get a wee bit of spit on them. Tail length at the back, I want it to be a hook length. So it'll part my thread down at the start of the bend. Catch that in. Right, two or three wraps is fine, that'll hold it and then trim the waist to the back of the dumbbells. Right, now, sometimes you see folk tying and they trim the, the tail back here and you get this ugly bump. Um, but it's not just aesthetics, right? I'm tying this long because it's got to make a more durable fly. Right? I've now got those feather butts all tied down which is covering up the wraps below and then they're protected in turn with a couple of layers of thread, right? Everything is just toughening up. The fly right, I mean these super buggers, the downfall of them is if you tie them the way they were originally tied, they're no very tough, right? They they don't last long. Because it's just hackle stem, and when it breaks, it breaks. Um, and the way I'm going to tie the body, you'll see that having this absorbent built up underbody is quite beneficial. So, tail. Flash, I've got two strands of crystal flash. This is peacock, um, it's a kind of nice metallic olive colour, it kind of changes slightly. Oh, sorry, it's not, it's, this colour's called chameleon. Um, so, I've got tying it on my side first, just leave them long, the two strands. Come halfway down, fold them over. Right, and then what I like to do is get them in the spring. There we go. Now the body, see normally what folk do is they tie like three hackles, right? But if you get these giant soft hackles, you don't need to tie three separately and get in the body or even four sometimes I'm just going to take I'll get down with one probably but what I do just to make sure and it actually give, it helps get a bit of density as well is I'm going to tie in two feathers matched up right, just, I'm just going to line up the tips lay the feathers on top of each other, one inside the other. Expose the tips evenly. Catch it in. And then it's the same again, I'm tying this to the length right, of the body. Get it nice and secure. Now, as I say, durability is the issue. So, I'm going to use liquid fusion here. Right. Liquid fusion is, um, if you don't know what it is, it's a sort of flexible urethane adhesive. Now, um, some folk might want to use super glue, I've, I've seen that. But that would have been 
Um, the problem with super glue is sometimes it goes white, it sets quite fast, it's about too sticky at times. Um, and it's not flexible. This is a flexible glue. And what I'm doing is I'm just putting a very well, small bead on there and I'm coating all the way all the way down. The shank where the where the hack was going to be tied over, right? And this glue will sort of soak into all these thread wraps below as well. And what I'm going to do is sort of fold these hackles. And normally I fold a hackle as I wind, but to avoid gooping up, I'm going to sort of fold them as I go here. And then wind them forward. It's into that wet glue. You can very carefully draw them back. Don't touch the hook, right? Because then you'll draw the glue into the hackle feather. All I want is the hackle stem being caught by the glue. Right, and you can see I've used these two big hackles. It's a simple single tie-in, which lets me make it all the way up to the front, and I'm still getting that nice sort of marabou -y fluff at the bottom as a collar tie it off and tie it off on top right because that's the underside the unseen the unseen side of the fly as it's fishing right I mean, you can tidy it up anyway, but... And you can see there, we've got a nice bushy body. And it'll take, it takes a, a couple of hours for that to fully set up. But it's, um, it, it's got to make a really, really tough fly. Legs, I'm using these olive, medium olive silly legs where they've got a black flake. I need two. I just fold them over the thread, catch them on my side, couple of wraps, skip my thread to the front under the eye, pull the leg tight, catch it there, drop back across and let the thread torque bring it to your side. So on my side I tied it low so the thread would push the leg up to the middle and on your side I tied it above so the leg the thread torque would push it down onto the middle or onto the side. And then you can just refigure it through, make sure everything's locked in place. And then just to finish off the head I'm just using an SLF blend of my own. It's just olive and sort of olive and brown uh, A wee bit of fluorescent yellow just to sort of blend in with that. Uh, the hackle colour. And I'm just going to figure of eight through. Around the eyes. At this point I'm going to turn that upside down and see what it looks like. From this side. Because this is, again, this is the... This is the top and the hook gap side. That looks fine to me, so I'm going to whip finish. Twice. Oops. And then 
keep it varnish. And don't worry if that goes into that dubbing, it doesn't matter. I'm not going to brush that dubbing, it's just to smooth out that eye. It just makes it a wee bit tougher. Now, the final cut. Put these back. Come here, that gives me a fly two and a half inches long on this size six. I've measured it already um, to this mark here, and that's what I like on the size six. If you tie it a size two, you'll probably get about a three and a half inch fly. And uh, I mean, when you, th as I say, buy the. If you can, if you can get a hold of the soft tackle and check a boot pelt, get one of them. It's it's a much it's a much more economic way to buy your grizzly marabou and hackle and all that. All right, so there you go, Cathy Beck Super Bugger reinforced. Um, so I hope that was useful. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please uh, give me a thumbs up below and subscribe to the channel. Tight lines, guys. Bye.